new program started in Greenville is aimed at military service members designed to combat veteran unemployment. The program helps service members through the job search process. Our Kylie Jones joins us live now with details on this. And Kylie, this is a difficult transition for many. Yeah, and some veterans I talked to here tell me it can really be a foreign concept to people who really spent decades serving. The program, started by veterans, gives what they call a sneak peek behind the HR curtain, helping service members translate those many skills they do have. The job search can become second nature, but for military service members, it's a little bit terrifying uh, to be honest. It's, it's something new, it's, but it's exciting. U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Forche says change is nothing new. But having the array of options that you have when you leave the military and enter the civilian workforce uh, is something that's new. According to the Department of Labor, 200,000 military service members leave the military every year. In June, it reports the veteran unemployment rate was up at 4.8 percent. A new online program aims to change that. It's cracking the code. HR Intel on civilian employment. Started by Greenville Society for Human Resource Management, it's a free three-hour, two-part program. How do we translate those skills, uh, both hard skills and soft skills, because a lot of hard skills are transferable, but they're called something different in the military. For Forche, those are skills like the planning process and drafting a strategy and a vision for an organization and, and managing a budget. In the job that I just uh, currently left, we had a $16 million a year budget that I was responsible to maintain. Rick Silva, a veteran himself, says they asked employers directly questions he wished he knew years ago, starting with the job search. All the way through kind of the resume process, application process, and into the interview and hiring process, negotiating a salary. As Forche goes through the program now, he's hopeful it helps bridge that gap between service members and employers. Give them a chance. Now, Silva says they've already had several dozen people sign up for the program since it launched just a few weeks ago. He says it's open to anyone Greenville based or nationwide. It's online and free again to anyone And WYFF and Hearst Television are also committed to hiring veterans. We encourage anyone nationwide to go on to Hearst Television's website and apply for any current openings again here and around the country. Reporting live in Greenville, Kylie Jones, WYFF News 4.